I mean, it was huge. Even Cavendish had fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, we had so much fun. And if you're going to have a big party, you've got to make a mess. Yeah, but Scruff, yeah. when are you going to clean it up? Oh, I saw you two days ago. And yeah. I said, I swear on my heart that I will clean up this mess. Yes, yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah, and then, then, yesterday, I saw you and I said, I swear on my chalk-coated bone collection that I would clean up this mess. Yes, that's what you said. And, and then, then this morning, when you saw me and said, Scott, when are you going to clean up this mess? I said, I swear, I swear on my mum that I will clean up this mess. Yeah, but Scott, yeah. you shouldn't swear on your mum. Besides, you still haven't done anything. Ah, but I swear I will. Yeah. I, you know, I think now will be a good time for today's Bible reading. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, Bible Bible. Right. Oh, oh, are we still reading about Jesus when he's up the hill teaching people how to live God's way? That's right. And this is from Matthew chapter 5, verses 33 to 37. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, listen. So let's have a look. You know that our ancestors were told, don't use the Lord's name to make a promise unless you were going to keep it. Yeah, so you yeah. see, Scrub? God's people always knew that it was wrong to make a promise by swearing on God. Yeah, of course. You shouldn't use God like that. No, but no. let's see what else Jesus says. Okay. Okay. But I tell you not to swear by anything when you make a promise. Anything. Heaven is God's throne, so don't swear by heaven. The earth is God's footstool, so don't swear by the earth. Jerusalem is the city of the great king, so don't swear by it. Don't swear by your own head. You can't make one hair white or black. Oh. You're not meant to swear by anything. No, that's what oh. Jesus is saying. But what's the big deal? I mean, when you swear by something, all you're doing is saying, oh, I really mean I'm going to do it. Like when I said, I swear on my chalk-coated bone collection well. You knew I was serious about cleaning up. If it's yeah. rough, the best way to keep your promise will be by actually cleaning up. Oh, yeah. Um, Point. Thank you. Yeah. But then Jesus finished by saying, when you make a promise, say only yes or no. Anything else comes from the devil. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. He's serious about this yes or no thing, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. We, when we say we're going to do something, we should do it. If we live in God's way, we should be telling the truth all the time. We should just make a promise and do what we say. Scruff, where did you go? Oh, I, I decided I'm going to keep my word. I am going to clean up. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay, great. All right. Well, why don't you read Matthew 5, verses 33 to 37 yourself and think about how you can make sure you mean what you say. Hey, Roz. Yeah? Can you give me a hand? Uh, okay, sure thing, Scrub. Well, um, you're on toilet duty. Oh, uh, okay. and, and you better be careful. I made a very big mess in there. Hi everyone, I'm Larissa. In his famous Sermon on the Mount, Jesus tells his followers that they are to live God's way. To live God's way means doing things the way that God would. And throughout the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus tells us what that means. To live God's way means keeping your word. To live God's way means loving everyone, even your enemies. And to live God's way means not worrying, but trusting God. Now, we're not always going to get it right, but thankfully, Jesus did always live God's way. And so now, by trusting in him, God will always accept us. And when we trust Jesus, he says we are to live God's way. Now, Jesus summarizes all this in the Bible, and this can be found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. It says, you must always act like your father in heaven. And that is going to be our memory verse. I'll teach it to you with the actions and then you can repeat it after me. It starts like this. Jesus says, your turn. Jesus says, and we're making a cross with our arms because the Bible says that Jesus died on a cross. 
But it also says that three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. And then we go, you must always act. Your turn. You must always act. And then we go on to say, like your father in heaven. Your turn. Like your father in heaven. Great work. And then we just say where this is from the Bible. So we're going to go, that's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Your turn. That's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Nice work. And that's all there is to it. So now you can jump up and do the memory verse with me and some of my friends. Are you ready? Let's go. Jesus says, you must always act. You, you must, must always act. act. You, you must, must always act, act like, like your father, father in heaven. heaven. That's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Now let's do it small and quiet. Are you ready? Let's go. Jesus says, you must always act. You must, must always act. act. You must always act like your father in heaven. That's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Now let's do it big and loud. Are you ready? Let's go. Jesus says, you must always act. You must always act. You must always act like your father in heaven. That's Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Good job, everyone. See you next time.